Well, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I have returned finally. We're not really, really ready, ready. Nobody on the grass. For once, I had the grass all to myself. Nobody on the grass. Kids making noise in the background. That's tape behind me right there. Can y'all see it? The shit in my pants stage would be me going indoors to record myself indoors whilst people are watching. <laughs> Already it was it was a struggle to um, record myself. What? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. I want to keep my, my gaze away from people so people don't see me recording myself. I don't want to look at people as I'm recording because I just feels I just feel it draws attention to myself. I'd even do my, my sweet intro for you guys. It's pretty nice though. Let me go and see if I can catch the sunlight. Let me see if the sun will grace my my skin nicely. Let me keep this thing at my face and not up my nostrils like I did last time. Even the pigeons be chilling right now in the sunlight. Oh, that's too that's too strong. Ah damn it's too strong. Let me pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Alright then. Before I go, let me let me show y'all where I'm, I'm headed. Right there. It's really I think I should put this thing on auto. Right? It'd be easier for me. But I'm chilling with the pigeons today. That's the River Thames. I called it Thames the other day. I was drawing my bed. I thought there was a H in front of it, but it's called the River Thames. And the Millennium Bridge is somewhere over there. And like I said, that is the front of the Tate Museum. Wunderbar! This is where we're headed today. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall proceed. I don't need to flip the camera back to my face because I think that's going to be a mission. And we are indoors. I don't know if the mic is picking up my voice or the ambience. And here is the entrance. Well, technically that's the entrance and here we are. Right at the gate. And then we shall continue to peruse what the Tate has to offer for us today. We have finally made it in. And no facial recording yet, but soon come. Soon come. <laughs> Alright then, we are inside officially. Inside the Tate Morton Museum. Trying to make sure I don't record anybody by mistake. I don't want to get in trouble. So I want to capture as much as I can without people in view. And then this is our destination. But first I need to go take a leak. I need the toilet for people. Alright then. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, your one and only host. Look, cosmic Jedi, and we are finally inside the Tate Modern Museum. As predicted. <laughs> I'm talking of this Mac right now. You can see how far the people are from me. And this is different art pieces. I don't even know what the exhibition this is. I'm just walking into a random one. It's a free free entry um, exhibition, obviously. I better be mindful about the lighting because I don't want this thing to look dull on camera. But I guess I'll, I'll always work I can always work on it in post. There's a particular artist I want you guys to see soon. I remember his artwork. I can't remember his name, but I remember his artwork. Little lines not to cross there. I want to make sure I keep in parameters. I don't want to attract any alarm noise to myself. Let's try that again, shall we? This is the stage of the video where the voiceover kicks in because the obvious quality of the camera mic is not up to par then I have to step in and narrate the whole thing. I'm not complaining. I'm just giving you a heads up. Please do bear in mind, on the day of filming, I did not do my due diligence to get the artist name of every gallery, room, or show I went into. I went into each room that was free on that day. But do enjoy the artistry available, of course. And since I was doing the vlogging test, especially being that the fact if you walk into a, a paid um, showroom, sometimes they do have rules where you're not allowed to speak, sometimes record as well. Sometimes, sometimes, very, very rare, but sometimes you may not be allowed uh, to record. So I just said, let me just find the free rooms and go into the shows that I'm drawn to or any artistic style I'm drawn to in any way, shape or form. All right, then I'm officially indoors, as you can see, and I'm minimizing my recorder because I don't want to be the loudest dude in here whilst everyone else is quiet. We ain't got time for that shit. 
But um, yeah, so far so good. Finally, I like this piece. Let me see if you got, yeah, this is a beautiful piece. This is a beautiful piece. This is dope. I don't even know what the artist's name is, but I'll, I'll put it up later. Can y'all see that in the background? Check it out. Check that out, please. Smooth as eggs. I'm going to go to the next section now. See what else they got for me. Also, I'm trying not to do too much talking because I just want you guys to enjoy the visual rather than the visual and then me doing um, too much voice over work. Although I do want to talk about this part of the um, show or the video, I was definitely shocked to see these kind of images um, in the gallery. Now this here is a stack of old radios, old school radios. I don't know how old the radios are or how far back uh, the, the radio models go, like whatever year or era they, they were um, taken from, but they're definitely old school um, analog radios. And it's pretty dope, pretty, pretty dope. I can't remember how high their, their, their stack. I don't know how how they moved around. I don't know if they're reassembled the same way or they're all glued together. No idea, but I think they all work actually. Alright then, I think this is the best I can do, especially because I know I can't really talk too much around other people. I don't want to be the dude, like I said, disturbing other people, but as you can tell, it is pretty quiet. So I have to keep my voice down as well. But some really beautiful pieces I've seen today. Really, really beautiful pieces. Um, hopefully you guys get to see, see them in, in their brightest or their best detail. If I can do my editing magic when I'm done recording. I'm trying to keep my forehead out of the shot. Yeah, I saw this one earlier on. It felt like some minority, minority reports, scene, cyber attack, cyber, I don't know, like some digital mainframe thing. It looks like how somebody's mind would look like in the digital space. Or like if it were just pure energy, this is how the mind would work. It's a beautiful piece. It's a beautiful art piece. Whether you have it, Ladies and gentlemen, this has been my short video compared to the first video I made. And I know it took me a while to upload this video, but this is just me finally um, getting to sit down and edit the secondary footage I, I recorded. On that day, I was crapping my pants doing a vlog outside. So I'm glad I finally got to do this. I'm working on the third one right now, which will be the last part of the recording. And hopefully the next time I go to Tate again, I shall be more prepared and have a better mic set up. I'm actually glad I did the voiceover. It's much better. It's much more. Um, I feel it's much more intimate, although I'd have preferred the audio I recorded on the day was on point. But again, like I said, I was nervous. Plus the um, the audio quality. I was also mindful about that as well, but I didn't know it would be that bad. Not bad, but compared to this voiceover audio quality, you can tell the difference, man. But anyway, I have been your one and only host, The Cosmic Jedi, signing out. Thank you for watching.